Now let me show you one other way to uh, create a tire before we go into layout. I believe that creating a tire from a disc is probably the best way where you don't have a lot of geometry. But I'm going to show you now how to use the lathe tool to create a tire. So let's select a new layer if you go up to the top here. Um, next to where you see the number one. Um, that's the, the, the layer with the blue triangle in the upper left hand corner of this blue box that's layer one, that's layer two, and so on and so forth so you've got those myriads of layers you can you, know, you can create if you've ever worked in Photoshop it kind of works the same way uh, layers are layers so sometimes layers confuse people but you know, I really like uh, working in layers okay if you look down at the top view let's go to create and let's select the um, let's select the sketch tool. Now let's do the spline draw too. Okay. So if you look at this box here at the bottom, if you notice when I'm off the grid, there's nothing there. But when I go onto the grid, you see the X, Y, and Z positions. So what you want to do is you want to actually um, start right here in the center. In the back view and make sure the X is on zero and let's create a point there then click and create another point here another point here here and basically what I'm doing is I'm creating a the shape of a tire This may be easier for some people. Okay, let me click spline to apply. Let's work in just a single window here. Okay, I'm going to expand that. And let me so select these points and kind of move them in. So basically, I just select the points, right click, and circle select. That's how that works. So. I'm going to hold the control key down and select T for move. I'm going to move these, move these like so and so. And let me move them down just a little bit. Select control T. And what control T does, it allows you to move in the, uh, individual, uh, individual points. If you don't know so let's kind of just tweak this a little bit and it's like anything else when you're working on computer graphics if you zoom in you can um, move things you can tighten things a up a little better okay this is the side wall of the tire this is the bottom this is the part that touches the ground this surface here okay and if you don't quite get the center point perfect I'm going to show you this I've shown this in one of the other, other tutorials that I've created I'm going to try to move this point okay I don't need to move it it's locked alrighty well I'm going to let me try to move it now select T for move I don't have to move it, it's locked, it's on symmetry, that's why I can't move it, I'm on uncheck symmetry, now I'm going to move it. Now, if you run into this problem here, um, if you don't have that point dead on the X, where it's at the zero point of X, if you notice I've got um, the move tool over the point, and if you look down in the bottom left hand position window, the position of the of the mouse or the move tool is at two five millimeters. So if I move it to the left, see it's on zero. So this point isn't at zero. So what I can do is just select the letter V 
and it means set value. It's already set to zero, and, and X is already selected. And when I click OK, boom, it puts it right on zero. So that's a good feature when it uh, when you want to find the center of a project. Just remember, when you're working in symmetry mode, um, one side has to well, each side has to be identical. So right now, this is just one side of the tire. So let me move this up. Select T. I'm going to make this a lower profile tire. Control T. So I can kind of move some points around to kind of perfect it. And this is where the rim would actually meet. Uh, right in this area. And you'll see what I'm talking about when I use the light too. Alrighty. Now, all right, if you go to multiply, means you're going to make some more geometry. So I'm going to mirror this. So this half of the tire is going to be like the other half. Okay. So if you go to uh, duplicate, mirror, and we're on the X, if you, if you can see this little plus X sign there, and there's a negative X sign there. So we're going to mirror an X. And there you go. So now let's zoom out. Go back to the full window mode. And let's zoom out a little bit here. Okay. I'll select T. We're going to make this a low profile tire. I'm going to move this up in the Y axis. Okay. Now you have to know which direction you want to revolve the tire around. So the center axis of the tire would be X. So when you go to multiply, well we're on the multiply tab, the tool that says lathe. And select, put the lathe tool right on zero in the position window down here. Multi grid, but but in this position window to the left here, just put this move tool, a little white dot in the center of it, everything zero, click and drag to the right, and make sure the line is straight and let it go. All right, okay, let's commit to that by hitting the lathe tool. Now, if you notice, one half of the tire is transparent. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to flip the polygons where everything is, the polygon normals are going in the right direction. So select the um, polygons tool. Uh, let's turn symmetry off for now. Okay, if you look in the, let's blow this, let's go to the single window view again. And zoom in so you can see what, what I'm doing and you can work a little better too. I'm going to right click on, on, the, on the right side of this dark black line here. Right click, hold down, drag all the way around with the polygon, using the polygon tool and put it a little bit on the right side of the black uh, center line and there you go so all of, all of the polygons let's uh, go back to the four window mode four window view so all the polygons on the left side or the negative x side all select so all you have to do is select the letter f and it flips all the polygons outward or to, toward the normal position. Okay, and there you go. That's pretty much the same thing that we did with the disk. So that's just a different way of doing it. And in order to smooth it out, just select the tab key. The tab key smooths everything out. Okay. Now, the problem with this is we've got more geometry because if you look at the one that was made with the disk 
you've got less geometry and the same look. Different uh, different style tire, but I mean, this is training. Okay. Okay, let's get rid of this tire and we're going to keep the other one. One. Okay. Also, before we go to layout, let's um, let's go to the surface editor. You find the surface editor by either selecting F5 or you can find it in this left column here which is surface editor we've got the outside of the tire that we created and then we've got the tire tree so let's go ahead and make both of those black okay select the black matter of fact let's um it's kind of not a pure, not a pure black but Let's do 15. And we're going to add this custom. Okay. And let's do the side wall or the outside. And we can go in and change the color numerically. So let's change that to 15. Uh, the tab. Okay. 15, 15, and click OK. So you match that color identically. So another thing you can do here in the um, surface editor, you can actually um, give it a little specularity. Let's give the side of it a little specularity. Maybe somebody put some tire shine on here or something. You know, give it a little gloss. Well, let's change the glossiness of it. A little bit more, a little bit more spec, a bit more spec, and we can tweak that as we move on. So now I think we're ready, ready to uh, go over in the layout. Okay, it's important that you save your project before you go over the layout because um, when you go to this little small triangle here at the right, upper right-hand corner, and when you click that. You see where it says send to layout if the project wasn't saved it would this portion would be grayed out so it's not so I'm going to send this object over to layout 